This week on New Mexico in Focus, competition for Congress. Hear from both candidates for Congressional District 3 as newly drawn district lines are making things more interesting. We are those Republican families and we want solutions. We don't want talk and we don't want party fights. That's the thing, I have a lot of experience. That is making a difference in Congress. And the warning from our Secretary of State about election misinformation ahead of November 8th. New Mexico in Focus starts now. Thanks for joining us. I'm your host, Gene Grant. This week on the show, our series of candidate conversations shifts to Congress. All three of New Mexico's congressional districts changed earlier this year when the state legislature finalized the redistricting process. Now, District 1 has expanded south and east to include parts of Torrance, Lincoln, Chavez, Dabaca, and Guadalupe counties. We'll hear from District 1 incumbent Democrat Melanie Stansbury in the second half of our show. District 2 now reaches into Bernalillo and Valencia counties and includes a chunk of Albuquerque. The Republican Party is suing over the changes to that particular district. That's where Republican incumbent Yvette Harrell is caught in a close race with Democrat Gabe Vasquez. But despite that lawsuit, the current district lines will be used November 8th. And in District 3, the eastern part of the state is now in play with Roosevelt County and parts of Lee, Chavez, and Eddy County all included. Now, early indications show all of these redrawn districts have made for more competitive races. New Mexico and Focus correspondent Gwyneth Dolan spoke with candidates in each of these districts over the last few weeks to find out their positions on key issues for New Mexicans. We start in District 3, where Democratic incumbent Teresa Ledger Fernandez is taking on Republican challenger Alexis Martinez Johnson. Now, Ms. Ledger Fernandez has been in office for the last two years after winning Senator Ben Ray Lujan's seat when he left the House of Representatives. As she tells our Gwyneth Dolan, she believes the experience she's gained in this last year alone has been invaluable. 